Hey guys, this is 3D. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm doing amazing. Been uh, pretty happy with the garden. Uh, wanted to do a garden update. Haven't uh, touched base in a while. Um, just been busy. And I've also been relaxing quite a bit. Uh, taking a lot of time off just to smell the roses. Anyway, this is the lettuce. Um, got uh, what they call lettuce bowl. Then I've got spinach and then regular lettuce. And then back in the back I've got um, turnip greens and mustard greens. And been doing very well. Uh, got some onions in the front that won't be ready for a long time. Uh, still getting tomatoes. Oh, well, let me let me uh, say, November fifteenth, Monday. Uh, so making the transition. I've got one zucchini plant left haven't gotten anything off of it I do have a few blooms so it's got it's got problems a lot of disease and stuff anyway uh, still getting okra quite a bit um, got some blooms I'm letting the okra go to seed because I need well I have quite a bit of okra seed but I'll always take more. And then I've got the herbs, rosemary, sage, thyme, um, basil, all over in there. Uh, let me swing you around. Got uh, green beans that I planted about, I don't know, six weeks ago. They're coming up and doing pretty good and carrots all along the front which won't be ready for a long time but uh, green beans seem to be doing well it's probably in the mid 70s to you know 75 78 degrees during the day and then it's getting to the 40s at night. Out at the Hugo Culture, I've got uh, winter squash planted. It's an experiment. I don't know if it'll make it or not. I know it takes a long time for winter squash to mature. Uh, so it's kind of, uh, I've got pros and cons being the first year it's an experiment um, usually as all of these trees shed their leaves I fill my hugel culture with leaves but since I've got stuff growing in it I'm not putting my leaves in the hugel culture like I used to I used to pile this thing up three four feet tall and but We'll see how it goes. Um, over at the greenhouse, still getting tomatoes and there's one right there that I need to pull. And they're small tomatoes, but they're still tomatoes. And then I uh, bartered some bell peppers and some butternut squash for a little load of cow manure and this is dried old cow manure let me tell you it's it's amazing it's really done a really good trick uh here i've got spinach and garlic and more tomatoes and in the greenhouse it's like 75 degrees out here. Let me see. Woo wee! 110 in here. But there's some things that really like the heat. Like bell peppers. Oh yeah. 
bell peppers they love the heat and uh, I got peppers jalapenos eggplants bunch of spinach um, strawberries strawberries are loving it I planted potatoes in this pot we'll see how they do um, and I've got a lot of bell peppers I mean they're just they're just coming on big time lots of bell peppers coming on and then over here in all my little I got some seedlings I've got broccoli um, oh god I just planted all this stuff green beans tomatoes uh, all kinds of seedlings and these little containers are awesome the store Brookshire's here not far from uh, where I live they have these roasted chickens that come in these little containers and after I eat the chicken uh, wash the container out and it's like a little greenhouse and a little greenhouse it's it's amazing and they seal up real good so when I'm starting my seedlings I put them in these containers and it's like a, a micro greenhouse for the the seedlings and works really good um, but I've got a few things planted in there and I've got a few things that I've got some stuff pots here that I'm waiting for the green beans to uh, grow so that I can transplant them into these pots uh, so yeah the greenhouse is doing really good I'm really happy with it um, things are really working out so I just wanted to do a, a quick update I hope you guys are doing well I know as preppers I don't know about you but I feel so blessed to be aware enough to start prepping years ago so that I can sit back and and look at what's going on being amused and not having to uh, be afraid um, this is a tomato plant that's playing out but it's still got a lot of tomatoes on it and I got, I don't know how many dozens of tomato plants seeded in the greenhouse. So I'll be restarting tomatoes here after those come up. And anyway, it's fall here in East Texas. And we don't get much of a, a brilliant color in the trees. They kind of go from dark green to light green to brown but anyway it's I feel so blessed to be out here uh, in nature with the trees <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm a tree hugger but I hope all of y'all are doing well um, I just try to uh, update every once in a while and let y'all know Everything's good, and I hope everything's good for y'all, too. Much love, and God bless.